It's your girl Ashley and I am back with another video and today I'm going to be checking out Chaos and Bradford, UK police outnumbered and surrounded. I'm not exactly sure where Bradford is located. Please comment down below let me know if you're from there, where it's located in the UK. I'm not exactly sure but before I get into this video make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Enough of me talking. Let's get straight into this reaction. Stay there. Stay there. Show us your hands. Show us your hands. Get down. Get you down. Get you down. Stand back now. Get out. Get out. Get out. That looked like that hurt. I'm not exactly sure what he did, but he shouldn't have ran. Because that looked like it hurt. I'm pretty sure his face is all on the concrete, and they have their um knees in his back and on their on his arms oh my god Get you down. the suspect drivers under arrest for failing to stop and dangerous driving step back step wow. back now Move. Who that, the friend Move. the cousin the brother it's just after 1 a.m in hanover square bradford after chasing an audi through the city the police have the suspect driver under arrest sit up you sit there I wonder why he was running. Head down. They just be, you know, people be making things worse for them for themselves. Like, what's just get a ticket if you're not doing anything illegal. Get a ticket, go home, and go about your business. It really don't be that serious to run unless you have a reason to. If you have drugs on you, the car is stolen. Sometimes people just be making poor choices in life in general. Move. Keep walking. Move. They are in an area where tensions with the police are like already running so high and more people are coming onto the streets. So what they got to be So they have beef with the police or something? There's drama with them? Genuinely honest, I have no idea where these people came from. I don't know if they were out or whether we were on the main road and they've just seen all the cars come in there because they see two or three police cars, blue lights and sirens going in there, they will come and look. The cops need to get themselves and their prisoner out of the square as quickly as possible. Don't come near me. Do not come near me. What have you two been told? Shift! Move now! I mean, move. You might do, and I've told you to go down there, and you're walking behind my colleagues. We'll go live in your house. Wow. At the far end of the street, traffic cop Paul Feather has found the abandoned Audi RS3, oh, the, car the car of choice for Bradford's bad that's boys. The this is a car that's made off. He was um, I've been asked to move it, so the problem is at the so, minute they've blocked all our cars. So when people get pulled over and they run from the police officers right the cops um they don't search the car to see if there's drugs if there's a gun or anything like that because he's just saying that he needs to move the car and it's just like he's not going to search to see what's in there what because that's what they do here and i'm not sure if you if they look at it differently over in the uk like maybe that's not legal for them to, for them to do that. I don't know. There's a quite a large crowd gathering. It's getting a little bit volatile. So people and cars are rushing into the square to block the cops in. What? Who's this car? Who's is this car? No Move respect. it now. We want these cars shifting now, or I'm going to get it lifted. Whoever it is, move it. They knew exactly what they were doing. They brought a van in. We've got two or three police cars in there, and we can't get out because it is a cul-de-sac. Oh, it's a dead end. One in way then. in, one way out. Do as you're told. Get in your car, and I'm gonna get your car. They over lifted. there laughing. They over there laughing. They don't have no respect for law enforcement at all. They think that it's a game and it's funny, and it's probably because they don't carry real weapons like a gun. Now, I'm not saying that they need a gun, but it just seems like they don't respect the law. Or the officers, I should say. Like, that's so messed up. If you're not in a car, I want everybody that oh. moment straight. Shift. I won't get off you. Do as you're told. We were massively outnumbered. And that's I've never been up. as outnumbered in my life, in my policing oh, career. West Yorkshire? Especially once the crowd had got wind of what was going on and there was a lot of people there. And there were four or five cops in total. My gut told me, get your baton out, son, you're going to need it. In my mind, though, I'm thinking, as soon as I lay hands on a prisoner or smash the window of the car that's blocking us in, that is the spark on this tinder. And 
God knows how big that explosion would be. Get off the kings! I'm gonna... Oh, did he? Oh, no, 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 no. Did he just hit the police officer? Oh hell no! Wait up! Hold up! God knows how big that explosion would be. Get off the kings! I'm gonna... Don't cross me, don't cross me. Move! Move! Get back! Well, then get back! Oh, they don't have no respect. I don't like this. Get back. This is so messed up. Can we get some more units to come and help us clear this street, please? And if there's a dog nearby, we'll have that as well. It's an emergency code zero. Oh my A gosh. call out to every available officer across the force. Hey, we've got a, a safety issue here, mate. We are properly stuck in a little corner here. It looked like they might. Like... Car. They just were apoplectic. They just were irrational. They weren't listening to what they were being told, pushing and shoving, and just That's being generally crazy. obstructive and aggressive. It was pushing and shoving a police officer. Man, if they were in the States, somebody would have got shot. Uh, and I'm not saying that that would have been right. Uh, that's, that's not what I'm saying, but they over here, they trigger happy. Yeah, they, they real trigger happy. They, they will shoot and ask questions later. It was just frightening to see them do that. But it's not the only worry for the cops. This is so messed up. This is not right at all. I so, yes. No respect. One of the cars trapped inside the square is a firearms unit. That oh. could have gone one way or the other in a split second. Oh, so they have... It literally is one of the most volatile have... situations I've been in in 20 odd years of policing. They have that. a firearm unit. It's all it takes unit. is one person to get the idea that they're suddenly going to be brave. And we're massively outnumbered there. The standoff has been escalating for over 20 minutes. That's crazy. But more police are arriving. And then we could see that the troops were getting there. And then the streets started getting cleared. All of this the obstructing because, vehicle started. All of this because a young man didn't want to stop for his traffic violations. He rather had ran. And he might have ran to this area on purpose. That's what it seemed like. That's what I'm starting to think. He did that purposely. He knew what he was doing. I get him moved. We all started slowly moving out of this bottleneck. And it was just like, go for that. We're out of here. We're just coming out now, Pat. So we're, we're all in order. It's more public order on full pass. There's plenty of officers. Uh, we're just maneuvering vehicles. Now it's just being slow and steady. Horrible. There were tension. And we have had riots in Bradford for really stupid minor things which are just kicked off um, and yet it could have happened with the situation diffused all that's left is who gets the last word you either stop driving like that or a 59 one get out of here come on come on be brave then come on i what <laughs> chase you on foot <laughs> I'll chase you it's on another foot. day in paradise isn't it oh, this like is... working here never a dull moment <laughs> very this was very interesting i uh, i must say very very interesting please let me know i really would like to know where this is located in the uk it's just no respect for law enforcement at all so ignorant of all of those people to be out there disrespecting the police officers I, I'm really disappointed. I'm just disappointed. I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this video. Um, I'm glad it didn't go left. You know, I know here in the States, they shoot first, ask questions later, which is, you know, really sad, but it's crazy. Yeah, so um, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, fam.